Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be going over uh, cleaning up this cheap uh, Chinese cast anvil. Um, as you can see, there's all sorts of problems in the casting, like little inclusions and such. Um, so I'm going to do, do my best to deal with those. I'm going to clean off this coat of blue paint. I don't really like it. Um, I'm going to clean up the horn a little bit, clean up all the splashing here. Um, I'm going to round these edges a little bit so they're less liable to chip. And then finally I'm going to take my Dremel tool in this hardy hole, which was also cast pretty poorly, and just clean up around in here so that I might actually be able to fit hardy tools in here. So yeah. So here's a little bit of a better view of those inclusions I was talking about earlier. It was kind of hard to see them in the last video, so just showing a little bit better. Yeah, all these holes and such. I'm not sure that I can do that much about the ones on the side, but I'm still going to give it a try. Just wanted to show you guys real quick. Um, this is the Dremel tool that I'm going to be using. Um, basically just going to use the smallest uh, attachment that I have so I can try and get in here. Just go around the edges. I don't know if you can see on the video, but they're a little bit crusty. So I'm just going to go around here and clean up a little bit. Gonna show you guys a little closer. Uh, my main goal here was to just clean up around this edge and you can see I kind of chamfered a bit there, took the corners, the sharp corners off just so that I can fit a hardy tool into there and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this but here, let's get some light in there. I just cleaned out the um, the shaft in there just kind of take a, a chisel and a file and just got all the crusty bits off the inside there. Yeah, not much to it. Okay, so now I'm going to begin working on the horn of the anvil. I'm gonna take this uh, rough grinding wheel first and just get some of the more atrocious stuff out of here, some of the more prominent bumps, and then I'm going to take this flap wheel and just smooth out over everything. I'm probably also going to use this flap wheel just around the edges here, and um, those are pretty much our last two steps. So yeah, I'm going to get to this.
So lastly, I'm gonna give this thing a nice light coating of uh, this like rust busting oil. Um, not that it's the best thing to use, but it's what I have on hand. Um, and it should prevent this handle from rusting for a good while. And I can always reapply later, but yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna give this thing one spray down with this stuff. So on the top, on the face of the anvil, and on the horn, it's definitely an optional place to put oil because it will burn off later once I set this up for forging. Um, but I can just wipe it down and not have to worry about it too much. And I'm just going to take this towel, just wipe off the excess wipe it into the end a little bit. Make sure I get all the surfaces at least one time. That is it. I'm done. Just going to show you guys how much better this anvil looks now that I've given it the once over. You can see the horn is a lot smoother. There's no super intense bumps on it anymore. And I just gave these edges a nice small rounding over so that. There's no indentations in, um, in my forge work. And also so that these little cracked pockmarked areas don't uh, mess with us too much while we're forging. Um, just took as much of the paint off as I could. I wasn't trying to do a perfect job or anything. Uh, I, just, I just didn't like the way that it looked.